I am excited about making this video. This is one of those videos that's been in my head for a while that I'm like, I need to make that video. And then uh, uh, COVID happened and we were all trapped in the house forever. And I just, it was too daunting of a video to ever make. So anyhow, I'm very excited about it. This is going to be a uh, treadle comparison. And I'm doing it live uh, just because I never know how long some of these comparison videos are going to go. So, um, I don't know, sometimes doing it live is easier than trying to piece it all together. So, I have, oh, sorry, that was very unflattering camera angle. Hold on. <laughs> I have uh, the wheels I have here. We have the Echo. We have the Bullfrog. have a Polywog and a B, which all the B wheels, you know, they all tread all the same. So, this one's a King B, but uh, it would be the same for if you liked a Worker or a Queen for the most part. So, I wanted to show, like I said, these two, this one is the Echo, and the treadle on this one, basically what I'm talking about is, you'll see here in a second, between the treadle and the bullfrog, this one, I don't know why I just put fiber on all of these, it's not even like I need it, so this is the treadle on the Echo, you can see it's, uh, I mean here's my kneecaps, it's coming off at a really normal, like not too wide, not too narrow, I would say the Echo is a very just straight off your leg, and you can see this is just going up and down. It's not a huge up and down motion. So this goes up and down, which then moves this lobster claw, which has this nice little band around, which then moves the ball bearing that's in there. So it's a very comfortable, I mean, I find all of them very comfortable spin, but it's not a huge motion. It has these foot uh, foot rest here, so it's almost like the, and you see it pedals by itself. <laughs> Alex said, so if you have any sort of ankle or foot issues and you've maybe been spinning on a different type of wheel and it's wearing you out, is I mean, like I said, it's it's still going. I haven't <laughs> I haven't been touching it. So as you see, it's very easy to treadle, basically treadles itself. You would almost want to think about this foot pedal as almost like a two part thing. This doesn't fold or anything, it's just that's where your foot goes and uh and your toes go here and it's not a huge motion and it's very comfortable the motion is mainly coming as i said just right there at the end of my foot with my ankles and it turns the wheel turns the flyer head and so that is that treadle versus the bullfrog like i said i sit here and put fiber on this thing like i even need the fiber to treadle that wasn't very smart <laughs> but um i'm just gonna treadle and let this hold on a second Hold on. Oh, look, it's my pants. Right. I wanted to pull that fiber blob off. So this one, you can see just in comparison, this one I, is more like the polywog treadle, which I really like, where it's got the, I mean, I like this one. I like them all, so I mean, that's my disclaimer. But you can see this one has like the two little feet that then the feet are what moves the ball bearing around in the middle. So that one, it's the same ball bearing idea, but it's inside the lobster claw. This one and the polywog are, uh, you know, it's kind of more like two little feet that work more independently from each other and move the ball bearing around. I am no engineer, so I don't have anything smarter to say about that. But you can definitely see the difference in that. The bullfrog is advertised, and I would agree, as the more most traditional treadle style. Like if you were coming from a different wheel brand and you were used to to much more of an up and down motion, because uh, not meaning to throw other wheel brands under the bus, but I have uh, tried to teach people to spin on wheels that weren't mine, and I felt like a total loser because I couldn't hardly teach them how to spin because <laughs> the treadle, unlike the other wheels, like it was a much more like up and down motion like this, like riding a bike, where you can see like your knees were really involved, whereas all of our wheels, it's just going to be your feet, which is why they are preferred by people that maybe have hip, knee, or uh, foot issues, or any sort of mobility issue, Is or that, or my Lewitt, the first one I had, it was just like one big foot pedal thing, so it was much more of a that motion. I mean, with my Lewitt, I remember this foot would get tired, I would actually start using that foot, <laughs> but, um, which is, like I said, one of my biggest things about this. This one is more of an up and down motion here with the pedals they're a little closer together so i'd say these are a bit closer together than the echo but it is a slightly more up and down motion 
And the, uh, I mean, it does, all of them sp continue to spin themselves. So, I mean, it's not hard to push by any means. It's very easy to push. And then the foot thing folds up and down. It is a further distance, you can see, in between the toe treadles and the back on the Echo versus the Bullfrog. I don't find that to be any more or less comfortable on either one. But it is um, just a further distance. I have really little feet. So, um, you know, if you had bigger feet, you know, I guess you just put them back here. But um, I have little feet, so mine are up here. And it's still all the, all the motions just coming from your ankle. It's just a little bit more of an up and down and closer together. Moving on to the Polywog, which is, you can see, same design, same build. Incredibly responsive. But the same idea with the two little feet. That's why, you know, I think that's where the name comes from, is it looks like little frogs on both of these. But um, goes up and down. It's incredibly, I mean, you can literally like one toe. I mean, it's insane. It spins itself. So people, I don't know if I'm ever spinning at a, you know, a show or something, everybody's always like, oh, I bet your legs get tired. I'm like, no, no, actually my legs don't ever get tired because, you know, these wheels, you know, are silly easy to spin. The Polywog, it's the same. It's more of an up and down, but then it's so tiny. I mean, it's like your toes. <laughs> you can see my feet aren't even really moving. It's my toes are moving. And I find this wheel incredibly comfortable. Um, some people I've seen put like a board or something, like kind of right here, if you want your foot to be the same height as this. Um, I've seen that done. It does not bother me at all. I mean, that's not something I would ever do. My heels sit very comfortably on the floor. My feet rest on this thing. And when I spin with my polywog, I mean, it's my toes are flexing and that's it. So I find I absolutely adore the polywog. It was my very first spinolution wheel. And this, what I'm doing right here, is how I ended up with all of these wheels. <laughs> Because I was just like, this is magical. So like I said, coming from, I came to this wheel after having a big full foot one pedal situation. So like after doing that, and then I sat down on this thing and it did this. And I was just like, okay, yeah, these are going to be my wheels for the rest of forever. So <laughs> this one definitely started the obsession for me. And please ignore that I'm sitting here letting this piece of fiber flop around. You can see my seven-year-old's been trying to learn how to spin. So, uh, you know, don't judge me too harshly. That's what's happening here. So um, that's this treadle. The bees are going to be your most quote-unquote unusual. Here, let me make sure I actually have it in a gear before I try to do anything here. Okay. Always make sure you actually have the wheel in the gear. That's always a good tip. Now, this one you can see is the most far apart. So, I'd say slightly more far apart than the Echo. The Echo, I'd say, is here. And, I mean, when I'm saying further apart, I'm talking, like, slightly. So, I'd say the Echo's more here. Bullfrog, Polywog, probably more here. Echo here. The Bees, it's definitely more of a wider treadle which some people find more comfortable. Um, I find it very comfortable. But then, like I said, I find all of them very comfortable. The bees, just by the nature of the beast here, have two wheels. I don't know why I'm pointing at this like you can't count. <laughs> There's two wheels. Instead of one big wheel, you have two wheels. So you do still, I mean, they're very easy to treadle, but you're not going to have that built-in momentum that you get from like the one big wheel where you really get like the weight behind it um you know even with the little polywog where it'll just i mean here like i said you tread along and then you quit tread i mean it still it continues to spin but just keep that in mind it doesn't have that same big wheel momentum the bullfrog and i have a whole other video on it the way it works is you have two treadles the little lobster claw here that has the ball bearing here, which turns this wheel. And this is part of a gear, so you can adjust the gears here. I just love the bees. They're so cool. But um, the treadle motion on this, and I do have an entire other video on it, is it's much more of a you push it down, push it. Like, people will get in trouble with these um, thinking they're harder to spin. And that's if you're just not pushing them. Like, if you see, you'll get, like, kind of kickback. See what I'm talking about? If you just 
are doing like little shallow pushes with the B, they're smooth as silk. But the trick is push it all the way down and all the way down, all the way down, all the way down. So it's much more of, I say, like kind of a rocking motion. But I mean, yeah, see, they're easy, super easy to spin. But you just want to make sure you are fully engaging the pedal on either side. It's a really shallow motion. Like, see, you're not going up and down very far at all. So it's a shallow, wide set motion. But you definitely, like I said, if you're getting, said you'll have people where they'll sit down and they're like, what's happening? Like, you know, it starts doing this on them. And you can see it's because I'm pushing my feet kind of fast and just like jarring back and forth. Don't do that. All the way down, all the way down. So, um, yeah, the bees especially, I feel like mindful of that and you get into like a nice chill smooth spin it's definitely not like a hyper like super fast pace spin the bees have so many gears that your feet can actually go really slow and chill and then you adjust all your gears and you see the flyer head up here and check out my super cool bobbins because i had to have the uh honeycomb bobbin to go with my bee <laughs> but you can see i mean this is on even a bigger gear rotation i mean even with my feet going slower you're getting plenty of rotation up here. So that's my biggest thing with people with any of the bees is I'm like, take a deep breath and just chill out with your feet. You want just like a happy rocking motion. So like I said, this one is shallow and wider with more of a rocking motion. This one is gonna be a, my biggest problem personally with the polywog is it's so fun to spin that I, I spin too fast. <laughs> No, I really, th this one's so fun to spin, and it's so fun to spin fast, and it's so speedy. Um, it, it, I get get carried away with myself. Um, so this one's, you know, more of a, just a toe, a narrow toe action. This one's going to be the most up and down, so if you're coming from a different wheel brand that you like, and you're more comfortable with that more up and down motion versus a side-to-side -side motion, Bullfrog is definitely more of an up and down, uh, more closer together, but more up and down, but still super duper comfortable. The Echo is, I would guess I'd say the happy medium of all of them. It's kind of the Goldilocks of not too far apart, not too far, not too narrow, not too up, not too down, not too sideways. The Echo, I'm assuming uh, Monarch as well, because it's the same design uh, or very similar design. They've changed them a few times. Those, I would say, are kind of the Goldilocks of wheels, not to anything, very in the middle. So I find them all super comfortable and fun to spin on, but as you see, there are some differences. Um, that I talk to a lot of people, a big part of my job, here, let me flip this around. Hey, look at your Christmas tree, there's the button. <laughs> a big part of my job is um, talking with people that have, like I said, I myself don't have the world's greatest ankles. Um, you know, different people that have different foot or leg or hip issues or just foot size. <laughs> so that's a big question I'm always answering for everybody is like, which one am I going to be most comfortable on? And I mean, in an ideal world, everybody would live oh, close to a dealer or I could magically beam you all into my living room and you could try them all, <laughs> but you can't. So I try really hard with this YouTube channel to, um, give you the most like pretend you're here experience that uh you can have and so i hope that answered like i said those were kind of all the points i feel like i've covered with people individually a million times which is why i wanted to make this one video to uh to cover all of that all of those bases anyhow that's it this was long enough and i'm gonna go eat lunch <laughs> y'all have a good one and i like to if you have any questions or there's any sort of like you know something I didn't cover on this, please comment below and I will make another video. Bye.